Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my recipe for curried jackfruit. If you guys can't find shatine or katahar, this is going to be your new substitute. So to make this recipe, you want to start by cleaning your jackfruit, taking off the skin and the core. And you want to use jackfruit that's green, not ripe. I'm removing the seeds and I'm also going to be removing that sweet part that you usually eat. You want to remove that because if you don't, you're going to get really sweet curry jackfruit. So you want to only use that dried green piece that's around the fruit. Set that fruit piece aside and strip that green piece that surrounds the fruit just like you would clean it when you're making shatine or katahar. Once you've cleaned it out and you have it in a big bowl, you're going to give it a wash. Make sure you wash it properly and set it aside. To a big skillet or pot, we're going to go in with oil. You want your pot to be on a medium low heat. Add in a few grains of fenugreek or meaty seeds and allow them to toast until brown. Once the seeds are brown, we're going to go in with some chopped onions, pimento peppers chopped, scallion or scythe as we say in Trinidad, and saute until the onions are tender and light brown. Now we're going to go in with our minced garlic and we're going to cook the garlic until that is light brown in color. Next, I'm going to add in my curry powder. Now for this, you don't need a lot of curry powder. A little goes a long way. And we're going to toast that until it feels grainy. So I would say about one minute on low. After which, we'll go in and add some water to help that curry cook. You're going to cook all this curry. It's going to take a couple of seconds, maybe 40, and cook it until it turns into a thick paste. And you'll start seeing the oils separating from the curry. Add in some green seasoning and give that a mix. You just want to cook it, as I said, until you see the oil separating and then add in your jackfruit or katahar. You can use the same recipe. Add some salt to taste and mix. You want to mix to coat that jackfruit with that curry you're going to allow it to simmer for about five minutes after which we're going to add in a packet of coconut milk powder or if you have fresh coconut milk i just find it's really convenient to have the powder on hand give it a mix and once it's been mixed in you're going to go ahead now and add enough water to cover the jackfruit for it to cook you're going to bring it up to a simmer and allow it to cook until the water starts to reduce, the jackfruit starts to get tender. Now the jackfruit can be a little bit tougher to cook than katahar or shatine, so my trick is adding in some baking powder. That baking powder is going to help soften that flesh and make it cook down really easily. So allow it to continue to cook, let that sauce thicken, and this is what it should start looking like. You can see that the flesh of the jackfruit is getting nice and soft. So to finish this dish, I like going in with some roasted jeera or roasted cumin powder to finish it off. It adds a really earthy, homey taste and give that a mix. Now once you've mixed it up, um, you can dry it down further if you like, but this is the consistency that I'm going for. This is how I want it. So how easy was that? And when I tell you this tasted just like shatine, it was really, really delicious. So I can't wait for you all to try this and let me know what you think. Comment down below. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.